Good morning. This is a chat GPT software engineering demo. I am building a simple customer data API using Laravel best practices in my free time. And I'm using it only AI to generate all of the files for me. I'm only doing minor bug fixes and things like that. Uh, my process so far has been to create a schema, then create the migrations from that schema, and then create the models, then the factories, then the seeders, routes, controllers, and then feature tests in that order, building upon the previous information to get perfect results every time. This is a demonstration of my process to create and refine a billing address controller and a feature test suite from a fresh, no context G GPT session. This is something that uh, is not as efficient. It's better to do it all in one session. So it remembers all the context from the previous conversation. So this is a fresh context session. Um, so <clears throat> here we go, I'm gonna jump right into it. The first thing I do is ask it to build me a Laravel controller with functional RESTful CRUD methods, that's create, read, update, delete, intelligent data validation and error handling for the model, and then create a complete feature test that will pass all checks. So I give it then uh, the, the model that it generated for me earlier. So this is the context I'm providing for it, is the, uh, the model of the customer billing address model. And then it proceeds to spit out a very uh, nice controller. Uh, I actually had no changes to this off the beginning. Um, you'll notice that sometimes throughout this demonstration, I type the word continue. Sometimes the response truncates and key, uh, continue is the keyword that tells it to keep going and where it left off. That way you get complete files every time. So this is the controller. Also, one thing to note, something about my session here or maybe maybe issues it was having last night. Um, this is normally perfectly formatted in, in code snippets like this. I don't know why the formatting was off, but it made no difference. Copying and pasting it was all the same. Um, it's just a visual representation here. So apologies for that. It's a little bit more difficult to read, but I assure you that the quality of the code is, is excellent. Um, okay, so it, yeah, so the feature test it, it provided to me, which starts here, uh, I didn't like the way it did it. It didn't use Faker to, to write test data. It just used hard-coded values. It hard-coded the routes instead of using route names. And that's my fault because I didn't tell it to use Faker to create test data. And I hadn't set up the routes yet anyway. So I took this opportunity to ask it to create all routes for all methods in this controller, then create a complete Laravel feature test file for this controller using Faker to create test data and ensure all tests pass. That doesn't work. <laughs> Just a heads up. It doesn't do it that intelligently. Um, I'm gonna have to refine this, but use route names when creating test API calls so that way we're not hard coding those. Um, and then it spit out another, no, I'm sorry. I pasted the controller it generated back in. I didn't need to do that, um, but I did. And then these are the routes that it gave me, which were perfect. Have not changed these a bit. The code is ideal. Um, this is the feature test. Notice that it didn't create a file. Uh, this is not the beginning of a file. So things are missing here. And I noticed that right away. Um, but the feature test is much better. It uses Faker. Um, to create the information, it stores it, but it does so inefficiently. And what I mean by that is it's, it's not a true model. It's just a function that it's giving me. And in the context of that, it's just not as efficient as it should be. So I get the full information. And actually at this point, I, th I don't know if it's done. It's actually done here. I didn't know it was done. And when I hit continue, it seemed to go back to the previous conversation and look at it again and try again. And so again, it spit out another um, test file. And this is what it looks like. And this one is a little bit different and a little bit better. Uh, it actually made, made improvements to it. It has, it has multiple functions uh, and I got all that out and it's better. Um, and so I put that into a file, ran it, had this error when, you know, when running the tests. Um, I just you know, described the error, basically just pasted in the error I got and it told me what was wrong. And it gave me the solution to it immediately. Now, one thing I didn't like about this is because um, in, in the setup method in the controller, it assigned all these individual variables um, and then saved an address with those individual variables as well. And that's really duplicative. It doesn't, doesn't need to do that. Um, and so I asked it to simplify it and that wasn't explicit enough. It didn't really do a good job of simplifying this at all. Um, and so I was explicit with it. I was very articulate. I said, we are saving the whole address now. We have the whole, all these values are here. 
So we do not need the additional model variable assignments. Just put the faker data directly into the model creation argument. And it did it. This blew my mind that it understood what I meant, that this was duplicative. As long as you're articulate about what you want, it will write perfect code for you. This is exactly what I asked to do. And then it said, then in the test methods, we can reference the saved address. But this, again, is duplicative. So I said, good job, but we can optimize further by using this address or JSON encode this address instead of having all the attributes individually. And it did it throughout the document. But then I said, can you provide me with the entire file, please? And here we go, the perfect file, the perfect test case down to, I mean, it's, it's really, really perfect. It's great. Um, and then it found a bug when it was when it was spinning out the file, it found a bug. It found something that it left out and it provided it to me. So it's not perfect, but hot damn, it is impressive. Um, and then, yeah, so it, had to, it said to define the routes, which we'd already done. Um, and then context switching, I had it look at the index file from the controller it made earlier. And I wanted to, I wanted it to accept a customer ID parameter and return all of that customer's billing addresses. Right now, it was returning just all customer billing addresses, which you can, you could tell is not a good idea. Um, so, I had to update the index method to do that. But it was, it didn't understand the context and the relationship between the customer and the billing address. And so, it did some kind of funky things. It said, customer billing address where customer ID is customer ID get. And this is not the most efficient and elegant way to do it. So I said, this is the customer. This isn't the customer model. Let's update that index method to use the customer to building address relationship. And this is the definition of that relationship. And it says, great, let's do it. It did a pretty good job. This is the change. And it said, this approach is more efficient and elegant than the previous approach, which it is. And I said, we can do better by shortening it to this, which is basically you're assigning this to a variable for no reason. You can just take this right here and pop it in here and return it. Um, and I said that, and it says, this is the most concise and efficient way to implement this index method. I love that. This thing is complimenting me for being efficient. Um, and that's it. It's great. Uh, I did run into a couple of issues later down the road, um, and I got those sorted out. I pasted some bug fixes in here, and it gave me just such deep understanding because it had so much context around the files that I've been working with. It was able to solve the problems I was running into with absolute ease. Um, so yeah, guys, this is, this is going to change the game of software engineering. It's no longer about what you know, how much code you understand. It's about how elegant and articulate can you be with your prompts? And that determines the quality of code you get out. Uh, the amount of, of amazing code I have been able to generate from this is staggering. I, I've built the majority of a, of a backend uh, customer uh, API suite. Um, I'm working on front end next, and I'm so excited just to, just to see what this can do. So thank you for watching. This is a, a quick deep dive into chat GPT in the engineering world and how it's going to revolutionize everything.